Hi team, thanks for coming again and welcome to the second video for React UI Kit version 3. From now on, let's look into how to customize the new React UI Kit. We have three steps on customization. First, you can use the smart components like before. And if you want to customize deeply, you can operate the logic and UI separately using provider and UI component. Also, you can create your own component. It would be easier than before because of various context hooks and UI components. As I already mentioned, the UI component on second is different to the UI components on third. The second UI component matches each smart component and the third UI component mean elementary levels UI components. The first step is using smart components. This is an old way, but it's easy, simple, and fast. So it's best to do a quick start and have an exper experience with Sandbird UI kit as soon as possible. Let's see how it works on the code side. Mm, did you find that the path changed? Yes, we changed the path for each module to apply a tree shaking. As you already have done, you get the sandbird provider and define it first, and define the channel list inside of it. Of course, you can use the props of the sandbird provider and smart components to modify them. That's it. The second way is using the provider and the matched UI component. In this case, every UI component in one provider is referring to one data source. So if one change happens on one UI side, it will make changes to the other UI component right away. So in the second way, you can customize the UI components in a way that reduces or increases them. Therefore, you need to import Sandbird provider first. Actually, you have to do it in all cases. Anyway, you can see that channel list provider and channel list UI components are here instead of the channel list component. You can define any component inside of providers, even your custom component. But let's study how to do it in the third step and in this step just remember that the provider and ui component replaced the smart component and naturally you can use the props like smart components the only difference is they are divided so you can choose what ui component will be there for example you can decide to display only the channel create button without any header or channel list in the channel list provider. But you may not be able to implement everything that you imagine with them. So to complete your idea and show result, you can make your own component and use it. We give you several context hooks and various UI components to help you make your own component easily. Let's take an example that I want to make my own channel list component. At first, I removed some code lines to not use the channel list UI component anymore. And now I will make a new file and define a custom channel list component. Now we got into a new file. You can see that I defined the custom channel list component and I'm using the use channel list context, which is one of the context hooks for the channel list module. Also, I'm importing some UI components, channel preview and placeholder. And then I'm getting some data through the use channel list context hook. The all channels, current channel, initialized flag, and loading flag are being managed in the channel list provider. And I summon them here using the context hook. So now I can make use of them in my custom component. 
I don't want to render empty components during fetching checklist or getting some connection trouble. So I will return placeholder in these cases. And the UI component placeholder can help me to do it quickly. After that, I made a chain list using the UI component channel preview. It helps me don't need to build the channel preview item from A to Z. And I might be able to show many types of channel preview by the conditions of channels if I want. Finally, I made the custom channel list component. So now I can import it and put it into the channel list provider. If I don't contain the custom component with providers, the use context hooks will not work. So I need to make sure that the custom components are contained by proper provider components. Okay, we have got into the customization chapter until now. Thanks for watching and see you in the last video soon. Thank you.